Hi, this is Ty, the Bass Playing Mom, and today we are going to compare two of my basses. The first one is my Fender Music Master bass that was made in the late 70s, early 80s, and then my almost brand new Fender Mustang PJ bass. We're going to talk about the physical differences between the two basses. We're going to talk about their physical similarities. We're going to talk about what my preferences are between the two basses. And of course, we're going to listen to how they sound. Hopefully plugged in. All right, let's start with a side-by-side -side comparison. As you can see, the body styles are very similar. Let's put them back to back and see. I would say they're the same. So I'd say Fender used the same body style on both basses. Now, what is really, really different is the bridge. The bridge is completely different. As you can see, they both use rather small bridges. These are short scale bases, so I think Fender uses a lot of leftover materials they used on their smaller guitars, like their strats. You can see the difference on the bridges. The Music Master has the really bummer bridge that has two strings See how two strings are attached to one saddle, I think it's called? Where this bass, each string has its own. So that makes this one really hard to get it just how you want it. Where this one's pretty easy because you can adjust each string individually. The pickups look a lot different. You can see that Music Master has this one split coil pickup. And the PJ bass has both the jazz and the precision pickups. Looks like they're from totally different instruments, don't they? The PJ has a switch to go between the two, which you can't do on the Music Master. They both have two knobs, the uh, volume and the tone knob. The pick guards are substantially different. The pick guard on the PJ has that styling that goes up into the corner. It does not go into the corner on the Music Master. Also, it has reinforcement here, a metal plate over the pick guard and the two knobs, where here it's just the plastic pick guard. We can't forget Music Master as a thumb rest. See the thumb rest? No thumb rest on the PJ bass. Those pretty much went out of style, didn't they? All right, let's look at the fretboards. Now, I believe Music Master fretboard is a rosewood fretboard, but the PJ bass has a Pau Ferraro someone help me pronounce it, fretboard, I think. Something happened with rosewood that you couldn't get a hold of it anymore, even though I see it still on the precisions. So maybe it just got really expensive. Anyway, so they're using a different dark wood on the newer bases. The headstocks, all right, let's look. They look pretty similar. You can see that I have no tarnish on the new ones and lots of tarnish on the old ones. So what is different on the back? Headstocks look pretty similar on the back. You can see that the neck is shiny on the old base on the Music Master, where it is more of a flat finish and with this inlay in the center on the new PJ base. Back sides look pretty similar, and of course I've put straps on both of them. No falling accidents for my bases. You can't see where the rod comes up through the neck on the PJ, and you can't see it here on the Music Master. Which bases do I prefer to play? The Fender Music Master or the Mustang PJ bass? And I have to say, they each have their own use. The Music Master bass, I have to say, is an excellent practice bass. I don't know, it just feels like coming home to me when I play this bass. I feel really at home and really like super comfortable. It's like putting on your favorite pair of shoes. 
And so it is my absolute favorite practice bass. But for a gigging bass, I prefer the PJ bass. I think the two pickups, having both the precision and the jazz pickup, gives it a fuller, rounder sound. Also, they like super lined the cavity on this bass. And so, and I, I don't know what other electrical magic they pulled inside this bass. But it has no hum, and I get significant hum off the Music Master. Um, where I gig, I gig in a church, and the stage lighting and the stage sound are on the same circuit. And so a lot of times we get like feedback hums, but I don't ever, ever get them off of this newer bass. Fender did an awesome job guarding it against electrical interference, and it has absolutely no hum. So I prefer to gig with this sonic blue Fender Mustang PJ bass and I prefer to practice with the Fender Music Master black bass. All right, let's hear the tone on this bass. turn it to just the, the split coil. bass with the neck dive. Well that's the only hard thing about gigging with this bass is when it does that. That is not my favorite. I just keep an arm here when I'm gigging so that it doesn't end up mattering but someday, someday I'll probably get the heavy, I don't know. I don't want to change, I love this bridge but I guess you can get a weight to go behind it so we'll see. Learn some more about my other bases by watching these videos right here. What base would you choose? Are you going to get a short scale? Lots more information right here. Oh, I fell asleep. Quarantine life! Quarantine life!